No, that's not a camera. And they're not battery lights. These are the new Cheerson CX60 Fighting Drones. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On. Now, drone manufacturers are finally starting to get adventurous. They've realized we don't just want to fly around capturing aerial video and photo. Walkera started their new interactive drone range last year through the introduction of iBo, which is a one-player augmented reality platform. Unfortunately, however, at a price of around £400, it was a little bit overpriced for most consumers. Fortunately, Cheerson have just introduced the new CX60, which is a two-player drone product. That means it doesn't include one quad, it includes two. Priced at around £60 or $80, it's really good value as well, and it looks to be great fun. Banggood have kindly sent us this product for review, so be sure to give the video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and comment to let us know what you think about the CX60 fighting drones. So we've not unboxed anything quite like this before and so this will be very interesting. Thank you very much to Banggood for sending this to us for review. Packaged nicely as ever and lots of padding in there to make sure it doesn't get damaged on arrival. And there we go, the box looks quite interesting. As you can see, you don't just get one quadcopter in this package, you actually get two. And the value of this seems pretty good because this is about 60 pounds, which is around $80 on Banggood, although it is on offer at the moment. Uh, links to this are in the video description. It says on here suitable for ages 14 plus, but reality is that these props are clearly guarded here. You could probably let somebody younger fly it if they're being supervised. Uh, we can see the lots of functionality here, one touch landing, one touch takeoff, altitude hold, controlled via Wi-Fi, it has infrared sensors, and also has a stunt mode with flips. So let's open up the box and take a closer look. So we've got an instruction manual here folded up, um, quite a comprehensive one, although, <laughs> okay, that's in Chinese. That's not gonna help us particularly. Um, although there we go, there is also some English instructions here as well on how to use it and how to configure and set up the app. So you do install an app onto your mobile phone to use these quadcopters and we'll go through that later. So as I mentioned earlier, there are two quadcopters in this package. They're both identical. So we're just gonna look at one close up. So first impressions looking closer at these quadcopters is that they're really well made. They don't feel budget or economy at all. The 55 mil props here are attached to brushed motors. They're not brushless. Uh, and they are shrouded by prop guards here, which is really good seeing as these are designed primarily for indoor use. If I just bring in the scales here, let's have a look at how much they weigh. There you go, so they're 112 grams, which isn't particularly light, but these aren't gonna be fighting against wind because you will be flying them primarily indoors. And these motors and the size of these props should give quite a bit of thrust. So we'll test that when we do the flight test later. Now the primary purpose of these quadcopters is that they are fighting drones and for that reason on the front there is an infrared gun which doesn't fire anything so don't worry safety fanatics, it just fires an infrared beam. On top of the quadcopters is a dome here and that dome receives the beam and it's got a little prism on top so it can receive that infrared beam all around the, the drone 360 degrees which is really cool so between the two drones you can actually fire an infrared beam and hit your opponent. On the rear here is a set of LED lights, there are five in total, and they represent your lives. So as you get hit by each infrared beam, one of these LEDs is going to go out. Turning the quadcopter over, we've got the battery bay here, and that's released simply by pulling this slider down and then pulling the battery out. Now, unfortunately, it looks like you only get one battery per drone. There are no spares. And so therefore, after each battle, you're gonna to have to recharge. So we'll see how long these take to recharge later. The batteries supplied with them are two cells, 7.4 volts, rather than the 1S that you'd normally expect to see on brushed powered quadcopters. They are only 350 milliamps though, so flight time is gonna be short. I would expect to see probably around two to three minutes. There's also an on and off button here, and we're just gonna quickly flick that on now to see what this looks like. So that's on. We've got lights at the rear here flashing. 
Uh, the infrared gun at the front is also flashing there. That looks really good. And I think these will be quite fun to fly in a dimly lit room. So I guess that's flashing whilst they're in pair mode, bearing in mind that these connect to a smart device via Wi-Fi. So in summary, a really well-made quadcopter. Looking forward to flying this. Also in the box are some accessories. So we have two battery chargers, which is nice. It means we can charge both batteries simultaneously. You're not gonna to have to wait for one to finish. We've also got spare props and there's a whole set for each quadcopter, blue and red. So that's really good as well. And there's also a prop removal tool in there for getting those props off easily. And then of course, we've got the other quadcopter. So sat next to the other one. There you go, we've got a blue and a red. The next thing we'll look at is getting the app set up, installed on our phone, and then let's do a test flight. So now onto the app. Now remember that these drones don't come with a transmitter and instead you use your smart device. You can use either Android, which is what I'm using now, or you can use iOS and both apps are available. So head into the app store first, hit search, and then type in CX and then a dash 60 and hit search, you'll find one app there, which is by a chap called Steve Chan, which is interesting. Um, I'm surprised that the official app publisher isn't actually Cheerson, which is a manufacturer of these drones. And if you scroll down to look at more apps by the same publisher, this Steve Chan person, you'll see that he's developed pretty much every app for most of the Cheerson models, including the Eoshin UFO. And that of course is the Elfie E50, now I've already installed the app, so I'm just gonna hit open, but once you've installed it, click that. First thing you need to do, now rather than just being an app for controlling the aircraft, this is kind of like a mini community as well. So you can actually create an account. The more you play the game, the more special powers you get that you can use with your drone. And that includes features such as dodge and avoid. So the first thing you'll need to do is create an account. So I'm just gonna type in Alexa as a random one. Type in a password. Okay, and then click register and that creates your account. Then click login and it will log in with that account immediately. And then the game starts up. And here we go, we're now in the app. So here we go, you've got bonus coins that you can get for logging in quite frequently. So let's get our 100 free coins. Yay, and we can now use those coins by clicking on the coins at the bottom to get certain powers. But the first thing we need to do is connect to the aircraft. So switch on the first of the drones or switch on both of them, in fact, if there's two of you playing, and then wait just a short time for the Wi-Fi access point to appear. Now what you can then do is click on connect with Wi-Fi and it will look at the Wi-Fi networks, and there you go. We've got the first one here, CX60B. So press on that and then hit connect. Once it's successfully connected to the drone, click back and you're back in the app and the app immediately recognizes that you're connected and it also identifies the aircraft that you're connected to. So I'm connected to the red one here. So just having a look at the skills here, as I mentioned, you can unlock certain things such as dodge, fully attack, purify, hypnotism. I'm not sure what all of these are yet, but they give you certain abilities. So there you go, move fast to avoid an attack. Hypnotism, the attack and skill cooling time of the opponent will be increased. So I guess this is if you hit your opponent with the infrared beam, it um, does something to their aircraft. So we'll go back now and we're gonna go into single play mode. And in that mode, you've just got very basic controls. So you've got your joysticks here, you've got your takeoff and auto land button. You've got the uh, sensitivity top left. So how quickly the aircraft moves. There's a uh, gyro button there, which lets you tilt your phone to actually control the quad, which is quite a nice feature because for a new pilot, it can actually be quite hard to get the whole idea of using joysticks. So this option lets you control the quad by simply tilting your phone instead. There is then also an immediate calibrate button. When you press that, the lights on the quad flash and all it does there is calibrate the compass and accelerometers so that if you've got any drift on your quad, land it, press that button and it will calibrate it for you. And then finally, the last button is sport or flip mode. When you press that, the drone will automatically do a flip in the air. So that could be quite a useful skill to, for avoiding being hit by that infrared beam. 
Going into two player mode, double play, you can see we've now got some extra buttons. So on the bottom right hand corner, we've got a laser beam button, which is how you fire your infrared beam. Notice that you can't cheat and just keep hitting it because there is a delay after pressing it before you can press it again. In the middle is a bar with green lights and that reflects the green lights on the back of the quadcopter, which shows how many lives you have. Top right shows the skills button and we don't have any of those at the moment. And I'm not sure what the refresh icon is, but we'll test that out later when we fly. So that's a really quick overview of the app. Let's get these things in the air and see how they fly. So we're now joined by Anthony, who's gonna set up the app on his phone. And then we're gonna enter drone warfare. Red or blue? Uh, I'm gonna go for red. This is quite exciting. So that's altitude up and down. So move the drone up and down. Yeah. That's left and right, so rotate, but try not to do that because that can get confusing. Oh. Alright. Cool. Let's try. Let's battle it. <laughs> Three, two, one, now. <laughs> okay. Ah! Like it is. Yeah, well my lights have gone out. I'm down to two and a half lives at the moment. It's time for part two. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, So that's my first experience of a two player drone game and it was brilliant fun. The laughter that you heard whilst playing was truly genuine and as soon as the batteries ran out we immediately wanted to play again. I also want to thank my friend Anthony for helping me to test this product. These drones are really well made by Chearson and great quality, they're also really lightweight. They fly really well and have lots of power, plus the three sensitivity settings in the app are really useful to match your skill set. For beginners they're really easy to learn and to fly and the altitude hold is a nice feature which will help too. Plus there's barely any lag when controlling these drones from your phone and so even not having a transmitter isn't a negative. For two quadcopters, batteries, charger, a good app and nice packaging, these are cheap. At only £60, which is about $80, they represent brilliant value for what is great fun. They give approximately 5 minutes of flight time, which is good enough for 1-2 to two games, although you will be craving for more when the batteries run out. Talking of batteries, the 30 minutes charging time isn't really so bad and it does give you time to spend the coins that you've won on upgrading your drone powers via the app. They are safe and very crash proof. The integral prop guards stop the props from hitting you and also protect your house. We crashed ours quite a bit, well Anthony primarily, and yet they incurred no damage at all, so they are tough little quadcopters. And I didn't cover this in the video, but they even work nicely outside and the range is impressive too via Wi-Fi, but only fly them on a calm day because otherwise it's not possible to battle so easily. Now onto the negatives, of which there are very few. There's no hover stabilisation mechanism such as GPS or optical flow camera, and so these will drift even indoors and of course especially outdoors. As mentioned earlier, the set only includes one battery per drone, and spare batteries don't appear to be available yet, but the creative and technical amongst you will easily be able to adapt to the battery that comes with it to take a standard lithium polymer 2S battery. 
Clearly there's no obstacle avoidance and so you may find yourself bumping into objects and people but at this price you can't really complain. And finally there's no headless mode which would make controlling these much easier for beginners but it's all good practice for those of you wishing to get into proper quadcopter flight. Overall, take the negatives with a pinch of salt. For the low cost of this set, it's great value, and I have to confess that filming this review was one of my favourites. Links to the Chearson CX60 set are in the video description, and you support our channel by buying via that link. Be sure to comment below with your thoughts on interactive drone games. Please give the video a thumbs up, and of course, keep subscribing. Thank you very much for watching.